Yo, yo, yo. What do we have here? The propellers are given in this little carry bag. Let's get these bad boys open. So, it's a simple case of just clipping on. One, two, and three. Basically, the specific. So I really struggle to get that one on. But anyway, yeah, simple slide in, push down and turn in. <clears throat> it's actually got an indicator on the propeller itself which way to turn to lock. It's got a sign of a padlock there. The controller. Dun, dun, dun. So let's get this bad boy slight slid open. Get my iPhone. Plug that in, there we go. Slide that back in there. So the iPhone's connected now. Battery 100%. Let's turn on the iPhone. I didn't quite get that. Uh, no, I don't, I'm not surprised. We're looking for the DJI app. DJI. There we go. Then the Mavic Pro. How do you connect the Mavic Pro? So turn on the remote control. Press the power button once and again and hold once again and hold for two seconds one two ah there we go connecting now what i'll do i'll get the magic on the ground as per instructions turn on the aircraft's battery press the power button once and again for two seconds one one two so the lights are flashing on the mavic pro now enter camera view now we've got it up on our screen, camera. Activate Mavic Pro, let's activate it. So let's agree to those terms and conditions. Ooh, let's call it Faz Star. Gotta keep it real. Continue. Uh, let's do go with default. So let's go with the default information. Continue. We'll start from beginner's mode, for obvious reasons. Confirm your account, sign in and create an account. Okay, I'll be back in two seconds. There we have it. We're activated at the moment. So let's update the firmware. So this is this is really what I wanted to accomplish. So let's download this now. So the steps taken to, um, to get the Mavic Pro set up are relatively straightforward. Um, you just see and witnessed it in front of me. I always initially thought that getting the um, firmware up to date would, would be a little, uh, would be a bit of a nuisance, but following these step-by-step -step guide it's been relatively straightforward so it's not been bad you can hear the Mavic Pro hey 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 look at my little slippers so we're nearly there 100% downloaded start update let's get that updated installed I initially thought that the iPhone would get charged at the same time whilst it's been plugged in but you can tell I'm on 21% I don't know if you can see there, 21% and it's definitely not charging, so that might be an issue. So when you're out and flying one of these um, Mavic Pros, just make sure your phone is fully charged and ready to go. Although the controller can work independently. Now oh, the controller's making noises. Interesting. So that's taken approximately 12, 13 minutes to update. And the update you can see there has come through as complete. So I'll continue from this stage. Uh, let's go into camera mode. The cover's still on. Damn it. The cover was still on. So you can see there the gimbal's obstructed because that's because it's got a little case on it. You'll see just there. There we go. The main objective was to get it up and running and I have been able to do that. I've been up, able to update it as well. So on Saturday morning hopefully I'll be able to get it out and up in the air and actually flying. I guess to power off is just shut down, showing now is disconnected.